in this uh, section we will talk about three more conditions which are again disorders related to heart. <coughs> the first one in this uh, segment is ischemia. The next we will talk about angina pectoris. And then we will talk about myocardial infarction. Basically these th three things are uh, pretty much related to each other and the end result is same. That is why we have taken all these three together. Now what happens in ischemia? It is inadequate blood supply to a part. Now that part can be any organ including heart. So it can be a part of an organ or heart. This is called ischemia. Whenever the blood supply is less inadequate to any part of the body or even heart. And here we are mainly focusing on inadequate blood supply to the heart. Angina pectoris which is many a times also referred as only angina. So many a times people just call it angina which means the same thing angina pectoris. This is caused due to myocardial ischemia. That means if there is inadequate blood supply to the myocardium. So here it is inadequate blood supply to myocardium. Myocardium is the muscular layer of the heart and if that muscular layer gets less blood, basically angina pectoris is caused due to an imbalance and that imbalance is between the blood supply and the oxygen requirement. So there is an imbalance between the blood supply and oxygen requirement. The requirement is more but there is myocardial ischemia. So the blood supply to that muscular wall is less, demand of oxygen is more. This results in chest pain. It also results in discomfort and some people even complain of the pain which is shooting in the left arm. So normally the chest pain which is associated with discomfort, some people might even experience little nauseating uh, feeling and overall there is a discomfort thing and severe to very very severe uh, chest pain depending upon how much that blood supply has been reduced. So that condition is known as angina pectoris. Myocardial infarction is the most extreme condition and that condition is when the blood supply to the heart muscles is totally stopped. So here blood supply to myocardium is stopped or stops. Now what is going to result into this stoppage, total stoppage? Again, the reason for ischemia could be slow blockages as we have discussed in atherosclerosis and arteriosclerosis. So if the blood vessel goes on getting this deposition, its lumen is decreasing. Actually, our body gets used to a particular condition. So if the blood supply is less, there is going to be little pain. Slowly and gradually the body gets used to that pain and we start or we keep working with that minimum or less blood supply. Now, if this blockage increases again and here it is normally associated with coronary artery. 
That is why this is a more important thing. So this is associated with coronary artery, which is supplying the blood to the myocardium or the muscle layer. So initially ischemia, that is inadequate blood supply. Suppose if you are talking about the heart. So instead of the normal lumen, the lumen has become narrower. Blood supply is still continuously taking place, but it is not sufficient. That is why we are calling it inadequate. In this case, if this blockage becomes little more and the blood supply is even less, but the oxygen requirement is more. So if this blockage gets more and here it ultimately is going to result into complete stoppage. But the first step is going to be the same. It could be atherosclerosis or arteriosclerosis. Or arteriosclerosis because of which the lumen narrows narrowing of lumen now this narrowing of lumen is actually resulting into ischemia and then due to some kind of uh, internal hemorrhage or this block becoming more there is complete stoppage of blood supply and this would result in the res uh, ultimately when the heart stops working so here because there is no blood supply the heart stops and many a times this condition is referred to as heart attack So this is what we mean when we use the term heart attack. It is a gradual thing. And that is why we took all these three things together. Now many times it has been observed that if a person has ischemia, a chronic condition, that means it's, it is there for a long period of time and a particular part of the heart is not receiving blood, then that part becomes dead. The part of heart are not receiving blood becomes dead. And this dead part, we are, because we are talking about the heart, we are talking of the myocardium. That dead part is known as infarcted part. And around this dead part, then there is fibrous tissue deposition. It gets fibrous. And now when it gets fibrous, it is even harder. So the muscles are, one, not receiving the blood slowly because they are not receiving the blood, they die. And around that dead muscle, there is fiber deposition. So it becomes even harder. So the pumping capacity of the heart slowly and gradually decreases. A stage comes when the blood supply is totally stopped because of these blockages and that results into the stoppage of heart or which we call the heart attack. So these are all gradual things. Now what are those factors which then can be considered as risk factors? So there are certain risk factors for all these three things. What are those risk factors? Number one, high blood pressure that is hypertension. It can be due to a lethargic lifestyle and consumption of fatty food. So food rich in fat and if we are not able to burn that fat, it, there can be a risk because of diabetes. And fourth is overweight or obesity. When people are overweight, that also increases the risk of these conditions. Overweightness or obesity. So these increase the risk of heart related problems. 
So there are gradual things, ischemia, inadequate blood supply to the heart. Heart keeps working, but in less uh, blood supply. Angina pectoris is again ischemia of the myocardium. Here when we use the term ischemia, it is inadequate blood supply to any part of the body. Here it is ischemia of the myocardium. That means there is inadequate blood supply to the muscle of the heart, which results into severe chest pain and discomfort. And if the blood supply to the heart is stopped completely, then the condition is known as heart attack because the working of the heart is going to stop. Plus there are certain intermediate stages like the dead tissue getting fibrous and that affects the working of